Folks, I got to tell you, this next story is the talker of the day. How would you like to have daylight savings time all year long? Allison Pryor explains the debate right now. Does daylight savings time have more pros than cons? There's now the potential to be on daylight saving time all the time. So let's break it down a little bit. Right now, daylight saving time runs from mid-March to early November, so about eight months out of the year. Standard time is from early November to mid-March, so about four months. That means, as is, it's a shorter period of the year that'll be affected by the change because it's just that standard time, those four months, that'll end up being switched. Now, keep in mind, no matter what, if we stay with the time change as is or go to daylight saving time year round, Winter days are always going to be shorter. There's just simply less daylight. Daylight saving time just shifts that extra light later in the day instead of being in the morning time. Now, for our local area, we're covered by two different time zones. The Cumberland Plateau, Alabama, are on the eastern edge of the central time zone. Because they're on that eastern edge of the time zone, they naturally have earlier sunrises and sunsets compared to locations further off to the west. The rest of our area, Southeast Tennessee, Cherokee County, Georgia, are on the western edge of the eastern time zone. So we naturally have later sunrises and sunsets compared to locations further off to the east. Think like the Atlantic coastline. So with that in mind, let's focus on what's going to happen here in Chattanooga with this potential change focusing on those winter time months. So right now, our latest sunrise during the winter is 749 AM on standard time. That is already a little bit of a later sunrise because of our placement in the time zone. Now, if we switch to daylight saving time, the latest sunrise in winter will be at 849 AM. So some people are concerned about that, especially with thinking about kids going to school. The flip side, what others are excited about is this positive. The earliest sunset on standard time is 529 PM, if we stay on daylight saving time year round, the earliest sunset will be at 629 PM. So that's a little bit better news. You get that extra hour of light into the evening time. Now, one more thing to consider is sunrise sunset versus twilight. Now, sunrise and sunset are defined as the instant the upper rim of the sun appears or disappears on the horizon. Twilight, well, that's that additional light that we see when the sun is below the horizon. There's three different kinds of twilight. Civil, which is the brightest. You, it's enough light that you can do activities outside and still be able to see. Nautical and astronomical. Here locally, we have about 25 to 30 minutes of civil twilight, depending on the time of the year, to enjoy. So that means we'll begin to have light at approximately 825 in the morning for those latest sunrise days, and all the way until 655 p.m. in the wintertime for those earliest sunset days, if we do switch to daylight saving time year round. So at least now you know those plain facts for what to expect for daylight saving time.